channel. My name is Cristina and I'm talking to you from Lisbon, Portugal. You can find me on Ravelry and other social media as Puella63. And this video is going to be my uh, part three of the Amigurumi book tag. And today I'm going to show you the books that came here to my house after I last recorded uh, part two of Amigurumi Book Day. So I, I'm not sure how many they are, but there are quite a few. Uh, and, um, and I'm sure there will be a part four in the not so distant future because I have several books that are going to um, come in um, in this next few months. So I, here I am. I'm sorry if I look strange. I recorded um, a video previously uh, where I show uh, the my finished objects and then I noticed that I was looking very very uh, my hair was a mess and so on the fact is that today I didn't sleep so I've I've been having some health issues and one of the things that happens that I haven't slept for some time and today I didn't sleep five minutes so uh but i'm hopefully i'm going to sleep when i go to bed tonight uh anyway what i decided to do is pick up all the books i didn't show you in the order that i acquired them so and as a curiosity the first book i have here to show you is a book i had in my list and um it was the book that started it all because I remember that Crystal at Chronically Crocheting was very enthusiastic when she found out, uh, when she found this book, because I think that when she bought it, it was in a very good price. And then um, uh, she organized a knit along, a knit along, um, make along or crochet along, because with the, uh, projects from this book uh, and I haven't used it yet but I, I intend to there are many sweet projects here to start with the bunny in the cover or on the cover but then uh, you have lots of good um, pr um, projects they are all uh, kind of tall animals can you see a little bit i don't know stylized or whatever but they are very cute look for example i like the images but uh to to be fair i haven't um yet um delved into this book so um I don't know how uh, the instructions are or so the quality of the instructions and uh, the, um, if the projects are easy or not. But I remember watching uh, Crystal talking about it and she really liked the book. And also uh, I remember Cassandra also said that it's perhaps after the pick up all books, this is her favorite. So. I trust that this is a good reference so um, and I'm very curious about it and I want to try it I still haven't decided yet which uh, pattern I'm going to I like this girl a lot I like her dress can you see and I think there's another one um here so um the images are good they i like this type of large 
uh, image and not very cluttered so where you have the the toy and lots of space around some look like to be very simple like this bear here uh, and we can have there are lots for example the bear has one two three three full page pictures of the bear and then lots of uh, other pictures with instructions then you have this cow <laughs> I think they are so funny I always like amigurumi cows they are, they, they are very very funny this fox, one of my favorite animals. And many others. I cannot be uh, showing you everything from each book because um, there it's a big list. And look at these two giraffes seen from the back. Okay. So, um, I'm really, uh, this is going to be one of the, my next book, books to explore because, uh, look at this, so cute. I think this is the other one I told you that there was. So, because uh, I haven't used it yet and as I said, I intend to use my books and I want to use them all several times. So uh, this is going to be one of my next uh, books to explore. After that one, I got, this is one I mentioned that uh, one of my, perhaps my very first uh, books of Amigurumi in crochet was the Edwards Menagerie book and then I really fell in love with all her uh, Carrie, Carrie Lord's um, designs and I decided to collect uh, all her books and now I'm still I still don't have the the latest well not the the updated version of the menagerie it, it's the i think it's the 10 year anniversary um is has just come out and mine is still uh hasn't arrived yet because i think they say it will arrive on on the 20 so uh, it arrives on the 25th of April so but uh, I have all her books except for the flowers and the vegetable ones they are still a bit pricey for me right now and so and then there are other things I'm interested in and so I haven't bought them yet but I intend to it's one of the there are some some authors or designers that I tend to collect all their work okay in the knitting world there are several uh, in the amigurumi world uh, I'm getting now to know some of the designers and I, I tend to try at least to uh, complete my collection and uh, but I hadn't before I, I was missing this one, one of the sm small books. So, uh, as you know, she has those mini amigurumi animal books, the, the four, which is wild, farm, ocean, and uh, pets. And this book has the same size, but this is a very interesting uh, idea because these are the 12 what they call uh, partridge in the pear tree is the song and she has 12 uh, uh, birds that are so go 
with the the lines of the of the song so you have um, of course you have a partridge for the the beginning and then you're going to have turtle doves french ha french hands and so on and then when when you have other uh, people like ladies maids swans she well swan is a bird so you have you, you there's no problem there but you have uh, mm, well ladies and lords i think it's the the only case here that is not and drummers and pipers so she f finds matches for these uh, birds and um, I like her birds. I'm going to another project that I I intend to do soon or is um, so I want to make the peacock from her birds book. And but I like the, I like these birds. I want to have them all too. So can you see? So you have here twelve the twelve birds of Christmas if you want. And again, their body is similar, but then all the details of their uh, legs, their wings, the colors, uh, their face, the heads are, are uh, quite different. And um, I, I like them all. So in the book, mm, so, so smells very nicely so uh, here uh, I was just checking uh, and here she has several pictures for the one bird so each bird you can see several pictures for example here you have a blackbird and you have it here sitting and more or less you can see the front of the bird then you have it sideways and then you have it seen from the back, yeah. So uh, it's a nice book, and I love them. So because I love these books, I again, I'm a collector, no doubt, and I like to have uh, my collections complete. So I really, and I love I love to browse these books. I love to to read them and I love to make the toys so a very nice book and I, I guess that it's a good introduction for example the these books are great because they normally have lots and lots of uh, designs uh, the, I have the dog books this uh, when I bought the dogs uh, it was already the second uh, printing so I have 65 dogs, the birds are 40 birds, now the new, uh, the original Edwards Menagerie was 40 uh, uh, patterns, now the, uh, the new one has uh, 50 patterns I guess, so um, I actually don't know whether the, the um, all the dogs from the second book are in the first one I'm not sure I have to check that because again I'm a completist so I want to have my collection complete but um, this will uh, I will again I'm going to start with the birds book because I want to do the peacock and some other from there but I'm also going to check this also going to see uh, whether these are smaller or not because sometimes today I saw I think Julie from KS Mom Crochets and she she mentioned that sometimes we want we want uh, a faster project we want the instant gratification of a project and that's true so that's why I love the minis because uh, uh, Although you they, you have to do crochet and sew all those parts, they are much faster to to crochet than the normal ones. So 
sometimes we just want to make something new and uh, the minis are there uh, good for that i don't know uh, because I, again i haven't checked um, the book with all the attention that it's due uh, whether these birds are smaller than the birds from the other book but great book anyway then what came after let me see oh yes this is a beautiful I think that um, this July I'm going to to prepare or to make some toys for or the and decorations for Christmas and so I, I will you will see that I have here several books that are candidates for uh, supplying me with uh, patterns uh, for Christmas and um, here this is not uh, totally Christmas related but it's winter related if you remember I had uh, bought one which is Christmas related which is uh, Poupé et Amigurumi Noel, something uh, Noel. So it's a French book about Christmas, and uh, several designers contribute with uh, different projects about Christmas. And um, then the same um, publishers, which is uh, Les, Edi Les Editions de Saxe. They also they published a similar book about summer and la mer, uh, etc. And then in the winter or autumn, I don't remember, uh, they published a third book in that line of books. And this is it. This is the Poupée et Amigurumi à la Montagne. Uh, and you have again the collaboration of several designers uh, where they they give you their ideas uh, and actually uh, suggestions uh, of things related to winter and um, Christmas and so on uh, more here it's more winter than anything else but they are very very cute normally uh, sometimes I like these books where you have several designers because now I get I think that I know a little bit more about this each designer's style and I, I like to look at the the um, toys and guess um, who is the designer okay or oh, guess who the designer is so uh, here you have lots of them. I, I, I'm going to see if there's a page with that shows, yeah, the what they call sommer. So you have here uh, several, many are dolls, but there's a polar bear here, which is so cute. So you have this here, and I like that you have also all the accessories so you have one two three four seven here and here you have some more so I hope you can see I cannot see what I'm showing so uh, I, I, I really like these publications <coughs> to drink water because when I talk I start my throat starts to dry and I cough oh <coughs> then I got this one this one was already in my wish list as well and it's a style of book that I love a lot it's kind of a mix and match book uh, 
I love those types of books. For example, I mentioned Carrie Lord and she has the doll, Dolls Emporium and the Imaginarium. They are flip books where you can join this head with these hands and these feet, etc. Here you have another book of the of the type. Here it's more uh, uh, fantasy characters, but you uh, also join um, several uh, parts of. Let me see of the designs, the figures, and you create your own. Your own. So you have body styles, several body styles. Uh, then you have also uh, arms, uh, bellies, different types. Then you have antennae, several options. Belly style, several options, ears, many options, face styles, many options, hats and hairstyles, again, many, many options, horns and antlers, scales, tails, wings, clothing, neck ornamentation, and accessories. So, and then you mix and match uh, this all this and you create very very cute um, designs and uh, I'm oh, I haven't tried it yet but it's one of the again one of those that I want to try shortly because um, very soon because um, they are not very big for example uh, I think that I can try one in a day uh, it's also funny to 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 mix and match them by randomly so uh, I've, I've seen um, some videos on YouTube where this lady she uses uh, those Dungeon and Dragons and Magic the Gathering dice and where with lots of faces to to draw numbers and decide so a dice for let's see uh, what type of head what type of arms what type of body etc and then she uh, composes her, <laughs> her design and um, they are very cute. So you have, again, they are normally fantasy characters, but they are very, very cute. Look at the, the cover here. Let me see. And here you have some other options. So uh, what they, they, they do is that they show, you have here lots and lots of examples. And for each example, they say, they give you the recipe so uh, this head this style of body this style of arms and so on um, very very cute I saw Julie again she she made some um, ninja turtles with uh, the help of this book uh, and they they were very, they were great great um amiguru migrate toys the way they were and they were uh made by using several bits and bobs you can also uh, do that with many other books because you can i see many people pick some elements from different designs and make new ones uh, one of the things I enjoy to watch is in Instagram, Carla Mitrani, which is Amour Fou Koshi. She, she, she does that with her own patterns. So she mix and matches things from her or adapts her own patterns to make new ones, new designs. And, uh, and 
it's I, I, I really like that so um, that's one of the reasons I got this one and there's another book here that's precisely why I got it it's to be able to use details from each of the designs to make my own then I I've got this book, which is a compil. Uh, so there are actually there are three books by one of um, most known French uh, amigurumi designers, which is Marie Class or Class. I don't remember her name. Where is it? Uh, um, where is her name? She she's. Um, known as so crush or so croc Marie Claes. okay and so we have here several um, books three books one is um, larger uh, designs and then the others are designs mini designs they are very very cute I immediately when I got this book I made one I made um, an elephant which I don't have it anymore because I gave it away but uh, he's very very cute and i'm going to show you this book has something good which is you have several pages with all the designs and then uh, the book starts with images and um, the explanations but you have several look at this clownfish for example you have several um, Pages only with images. I'm oh this I like these flamingos a lot. And I want to make the giraffe because I saw Duane Julie made. But I also this is the uh, the elephant that I made, Georgie. And it's quite easy to make, and it's not very big. So again, it's one of those. Uh, projects that uh, grant you instant gratification and now I want to make this one here can you see and many more there are many 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 designs here because again these are three books in one so the, uh, the other books uh, also have these mini figures which I like a lot look at here in the cover you can also see this look at the duck and ducklings and so on so um, it's a good way to try the patterns by this author because she has lots and lots of books I think so uh, uh, in this way I got uh, three of her books um, and there are several several designs for example here you have uh, animals of the forest and uh, and you have I don't know animals of the sea and so on some are fantasy look at this uh, unicorn <laughs> and here you have a dino so I also like these small small um, toys again as I said great resource and I loved, love it. Oh, then I had I had a book in my list, but I was not um, in a hurry to obtain. But then again, when I see people talk about and uh, this, and there are several podcasts I watch, but uh, I'm now thinking about. Um, No, I cannot remember the name of people's names, I'm sorry. But you have Cassandra from Craftly Ever After. You have uh, Pamela from uh, Ginger Cat Crochet. You have um, Caroline from the love of, for the Love of Crochet. 
and uh, Julie from KS Mom crochets and there are other um, designers and whenever they mention a book or a design I normally my 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 book the book just goes up in my wish list and this is the case but I think that this book is very very good um, because it's um, it's very complete except for well I ha again I haven't seen all the details but I remember uh, listening to uh, Julie complain that there's no good good um, explanations for the hair I, I haven't um, seen that yet but again that's why I like to have other books because then you have other books where they explain very well how to make different types of hair and so um, you can then um, mix and match so this is a book where you have it's called crochet you and so what you have here is you have a basic body which I want to make so uh, a doll's body uh, and then you have lots and lots of modifications that you can use uh, to 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 that so um, think ad to adapt uh, to that body so you have a complete body person with from head to toe with two arms two legs and so on uh, I'm going to show you this here for example okay and then if you want to recreate a person you know but this person has some health problems because this is what it is related to several um, chronic illnesses or health uh, issues um, that people have for example uh, someone who wears a cane um, wheelchair or even has a, a prostate leg or um, prosthesis isn't it I'm sorry not prostate of course I was what okay uh, prosthetic isn't it prosthetic leg or arm or whatever and so uh, sometimes if they even have for example a service dog or uh, a feeding tube there are lots and lots of uh, possibilities and especially for children that are uh, have these uh, health issues and they say that th perhaps they would like to see um, t uh, dolls just like them so for example here you have a girl which has leg braces and here she is so and uh, but um, I want what I want to do is I want to make first the basic doll and then go from there mm -hmm. uh, this the, the body of the doll that I show you you see has lots of details look at the feet and there's a knee you can see the 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 body is very very I think it's very detailed and well done okay so I'm very curious also about how my doll is going to be. And um, I think that there are three, I noticed there are three publishers that I am partial to now. Uh, one is this one, David, David and Charles. They have several very nice books like this one. And I also like that they normally match in, in size. Then you have the uh, books that are Tuva books. For example, the first one I showed you is one of those <coughs> Tuva, T-U-V-A. And then, of course, there's the Meteor books, which are some of my favorites. So here, <coughs> I'm sorry. This one is not in order now. Don't know why. I think I, 
I put them in reverse order so let me put them in the right order okay all these oops these that I have here they all arrived uh, at the same time more or less because they were part of the order again that order I told you that I made um, at Meteor books so amigurumi.com whenever they release a new book they um, allow us to order other books from their backlog so uh, catalog and they they um, normally sell them in uh, with a reduced price and also they give you the digital format as well which for me is great because I like to browse the books smell the books and etc but then when I'm um, making a um, toy I like to follow with uh, an app in my iPad so where I can scribble mark use several um, rulers and so on to see where I am and etc and so I I don't like to to do that on the books I, I like to preserve my books uh, the best I can but um, so for me it's great when publishers or sometimes designers offer this possibility of having the physical book and the digital book at the same time that's why I like to order these books from um, amigurumi.com and so I uh, last July I had um, made uh, or put a big order from several of their books and now I got almost all the other books uh, that I, I hadn't got uh, before uh, unfortunately one of the books I wanted which is one uh, 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 the books I think from Ilaria Kaliri uh, it's not available anymore it's out of print and they don't sell it anymore and I was very sad of course I can get the digital book but I really like uh, yeah the, the thing is when I have a digital book only I tend to forget them and um, first because they are not as enjoyable to browse and uh, they don't smell <laughs> and so on but they, so I tend to forget them uh, so I prefer to have them in physical format but the, the other book is the Globetrotters I think and I like these books because they have lots of details so I'm not going to show you everything but this is one of the books that uh, has several uh, Christmas related uh, patterns uh, so it's one of the books that I'm going to use for to prepare for Christmas so you can see here there are lots and lots of uh, patterns related to Christmas even here you have you can see that we can make advent calendars and look there's even a Christmas train okay and there are lots of small details in each design uh, accessories and so on so um, they are quite quite lovely so here is father christmas with their um bags which have the numbers so and look at this i like this uh, reindeer a lot and there are many other uh patterns this bear is also very very cute so you have lots of some small some look um you have also things that you can put on your tree like stars bells and so on look at this the decorations are quite cute so this is one of the books i'm going to perhaps in july or uh, uh, use to prepare for my christmas then you have a very cute book which is about uh, fairy tales and you can see here several fairy tales uh, like Snow White and the Seven Dwarves you have um, Cinderella 
you have the the I'm three sorry i was cut off because my ipad told me that my the length of the video uh was enough so it was too long and and uh, they cut me off so um and you have several let me show you some of the images here and i must tell you that i was very 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 shocked by uh with the character of one of the people here so this prince is here seen kissing snow white the three little pigs are adorable let me see you also have a red riding hood and the i love the the picture of the grandmother and then you have the grandmother and the wolf and then you have the wolf dressed with grandma's clothes very very cute you have the seven goats story and the wolf again i always despised the bit these stories when i was young because i love wolves i always have so i didn't they always put the wolves um as bad characters and they are not so the same prince who was kissing uh snow white is here in conversation with rapunzel okay but wait this is not all so here he is almost kissing rapunzel as you can see all entwined with her hair and then with Cinderella how come so I was shocked uh, very nice book to play to make the the characters of the story and when you're telling uh, the story to the kids they can play with the characters then from also uh, amigurumi.com so make your books you have uh, parents and uh, children and uh, let me show you here on the back some of the characters you have can you see they are very cute they are uh, mothers or fathers and their uh, kids so for example here you have the penguin must be the father because as you know those are the ones who take care of the small birds are the fathers the mothers just swim to warmer waters um, I, I, I love this uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex with uh, uh, the two kids she has two kids um, but a good book <laughs> and the, the, the octopus with the, the small children it's very very funny too then you have animals at work and you have several uh, animals at work so each animal has a job a baker a postman um, mechanic or fireman clown and then you have this sweet sweet you know what she is she's an amigurumi designer and because she is a white cat with long legs i thought that i might use this to participate in so she, here she is designing amigurumi so she's she's she made some bear some bears can you see one two three but she's an amigurumi designer and i thought that i can use her body um to make the white cat that has blue dungarees and a mushroom hat for the mix and match challenge by cassandra i i'm not 
100% sure, but when I saw the design and the, the video where she talked about it, I immediately, th this design immediately came to my mind. Uh, these are very, very cute. So here you have, uh, for example, a newspaper boy, Parker the pig. Look at him. So you have several uh, jobs and types of work. Look. Uh, these construction workers, of course, a mole and a beaver. And uh, you have sports people, players, and so on. They, they are very, very uh, funny. Then, of course, you have one of the most recent publications, which I'm not going to talk much because you can see uh, you can watch um, Julie's from KS Mom's Crochets. She uh, did a um, very thorough uh, review of this book. I watched it today, so you can, which is the third book from Edina Lee. So she made the Amigurumi Treasures 1 and 2, and now you have Enchanted Woodland Amigurumi. And uh, they are a kind of fantasy characters and she it's very very beautiful the book because the colors that she chooses and the atmosphere is very very nice but of course we can do whatever we want with the designs and choose other colors but they are all very beautiful so um, but watch watch Julie's review because um, it's very good. I will link those things that I talk down, but uh, perhaps when I publish the, the video, the links are not there because I will have to uh, have time to, to put, at least I'm, go I'm going to, to say the people that I mentioned and so on, I'm going to list them there, okay? Finally, from uh, Meteor Books, I got the latest of their books, which is the known books which i already talked a lot in other episodes like that i mentioned that they have three themes for so they have the four seasons and then uh, inside um so in each of the four seasons they have three three uh themes like for example you have in autumn you have the um, harvest you have the return back to school so and you have uh, Halloween. So for each one, you have uh, three. And uh, you have a big gnome, a small gnome, and accessories. And they are very, very cute. I'm going to show you here a picture. Ah, here, for example, here you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They are not all here, but this is a postcard they sent where you can see several of the designs and I think there's a picture here a, a two-page spread where you can see <clears throat> several of them yes. uh, or I don't know if it's all I think they are so the the gnomes and all they have lots and lots of small details and accessories I like the Halloween one very, very much. The colors are, are beautiful. This one is Christmas. Yes, this is a Santa gnome, as they say. You have a tall one, a short one, and then you have accessories, okay? For example, for Christmas. So you have, but the Halloween, the tall one from Halloween, here he is. Beautiful colors and... Uh, it's, I, I like it. I had never um, had a known book before, so I, I really enjoy this one. Then, I have here some other books, and these are more recent acquisitions. And this one is another book for... Um, 
prepare for Christmas and this is from Kukai and she has a, a um, short book it has 10 adorable adorable sorry this is in French uh, so these adorable question au crochet and it's beautiful Kukai she's I like her her style and you can see here you have lots of detailed decorations and toys for Christmas. So, um, look at this, for example. <laughs> Get in the sock. Okay. You have lots and lots of. Look at this girl, yeah. So, let me see. You have. Leon Lourson Blanc, so you have Alex Le Bonhomme, Pan d'Epice, which is um, gingerbread man. You have uh, lots of designs. So here it is the, the bear. And all its um, accessories. Then you have, oops, here he is also with jumper and so on then you have what um, here is the gingerbread man and the Christmas tree and presents so all these decorations are included in the pattern and so on so lots and lots of um, another um, Christmas train The little helpers, I think they are so cute, etc. So, let me see what you have here. Oh, these are the little girls too, like the helpers. So, here's Santa with his bag. Several nice um, and detailed patterns, very good. So these are uh, more recent books. So this one was in my uh, list and then I saw Cassandra talking about it and I said, oh, I have that one in my shopping basket. And yes, um, this is a great, great book. So this is the other publisher, Tuva, as I mentioned here. I like also uh, their publications. And this is one of those um, books that have several designers contribute to them. And you can imagine, uh, immediately identify some of the designers. For example, I saw that here you have a doll that's very much in the style of Sandra Muller, which is Lulu Computine. I have some of her books here i think these are from the people that make um lula or is it lula i think it is and her friends and neighbors and uh, you have very very cute designs here can you see the babies the this here and look at this lady here she reminds me of lucy from golden girls isn't it Look at this. There are many, many, many uh, uh, designs and they are also very large images and detailed um, look at uh, with the explanations they are very they are also very detailed, but you have lots and lots of great designs. And I love this type of books because you have many different uh, things in one book they are i think that they are great value because uh you pay the what you pay for one or two sorry two or three um patterns you you can have a book with 
so many uh, patterns and detailed explanations and things like that. And it smells good. <coughs> this book, I, talk, I talked about it today. <coughs> so it's a different approach where the head is made by two halves that are then joined. And uh, you have <coughs> different types of designs here. You have, um, what, let me see. You have, um, so those small ones, like the one I made, where you have uh, cactus girls, animals, Ruby the Grapefruit Girl, the, the one I made. Then you have some basic dolls and you have one doll with a large, well, a fairly good wardrobe. Uh, and I think that you can interchange the, the clothes of these dolls here, can you see? So she has several uh, outfits and you can also, they are, uh, the outfits are interchangeable, I think. And then you have, uh, so the small ones, like the, the animals, the fruit, the, what else? The cactus, okay, yeah. And then you have these two, which I think are a little bit in the line of those there, but a little bit different, okay? And then you have the, the ones with traditional uh, dresses from several countries. In this case, you have uh, Spain, Argentina, um, China, I think, I don't remember, no, not Ireland, Germany, then I think it's Turkey and somewhere, somewhere else. But um, again, lots of pictures, lots of images explaining the every detail and also very good large uh, pictures. Uh, the, some people dislike the, the fact that they have that bullseye there. Uh, sometimes, for example, I, I showed my small doll to my son and he said that he didn't notice only because I pointed it at, that's when he noticed. Look at here, here you have the girl and several of her clothes, see? So she has a good wardrobe. So she can be the explorer or then uh, wear the explorer clothes or the dresses or several types of clothing, even swimsuit, okay? I, I think it's a very good book. I, I like this book. And I I just want to be to make a more perfect ring to close it better and to see if I then I can live with it. Because I like the, the, the dolls. Then I have one which I, I, I have all um, so I have I have iconic women, and in my shopping basket is the iconic women too. But I got this one first because this the body of these um, dolls is smaller. So you can again uh, the idea here for me. I don't I really don't care about the zodiac and things like that. I actually despise them a bit. So, um, but I think that all these um, dolls, you can, again, use the basic patterns and the, the hair and their clothes and so on to make several other dolls. And that's uh, my idea for, um, buying this book. So I love the dolls, they are very cute, but again, you can make them, oh, for example, this here, she, uh, I don't know what 
it is here, but it looks like the little prince from uh, Le Petit Prince, the, the book by Antoine Saint Exupéry. Um, that I think Carla Mitrani has a, a pattern for him, but here you have this one here, and you can use it for that. I also like these twin girls. I, I always think of Anne of the Green Gables with perhaps a longer dress and an apron, but with that hat and the red hair. You can, again, mix and match uh, all this uh, body bodies and hairstyles and so on uh, to make um, your own uh, dolls and that's why I, I, I bought this book um, because the second um, Iconic Women book the, the bodies are very similar to the first one so of course it's a book I want because I, I also want to try to make uh, all the those characters but um, this one, I, I bought it because of the size of the dolls, which is different. For example, here you have a girl, so you can, <clears throat> you can make a, a small girl with this um, patterns. And finally, the latest one to arrive. Or well, the last one actually to arrive is this one, because, but um, latest is better because I have some on the mail. They are coming. So and I think that uh, this is a, a good book. I I made the puffer fish. You have several um, animals. Uh, some are. Sorry, I was cut off again because I'm running out of space here in my iPad where I record this. I was just going to talk about the last book here. And uh, very good. I, I Again, I showed uh, in the previous video, I showed this um, pattern here the, that I made, this toy, this puffer fish. And uh, the, the explanations are very well done. Uh, done the, the details the images lots and lots of images uh, showing uh, every step I love some of the designs they are very very um, interesting designs oh now looking at this bird I remember that I also have some um, calendars from Two years ago and last year with birds and uh, other animals that I don't remember they are knitting patterns but they are very I, I like them a lot so one day I'll show you I don't think I, I've showed you this so here you have some uh, exotic but I think these are almost all um, animals um, that are strange somehow strange or in danger of extinction. Leafy sea dragon. Look at this one here. So um, I don't know how long this will take to upload and if I can even save the video because problems with space is that then they have when they are preparing the video the there I have problems with space. I need a bigger, uh, so more capacity. This is a an old iPad, which has only thirty two gigabytes. Look at the blue lobster, for example. I, I like the I love I love the patterns. But I I as I said, I was I love this. I saw, I think I saw someone in Instagram, and I said I want to make that, and. Again, he turned out quite big, but that's okay. So, this is the status quo for now. I don't know how many these were. Let me count them and then we'll go. Again, I, I, I think that very soon we'll have a, a chapter four of this. Three, four, five, six. Oh, God. 
10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So 17 new books since last July. Um, just to finish, I'm going to show you here. I keep my books uh, all very well um, catalogued in the, um, an app that is called Book Buddy. And you can have tags. So, for example, I know that here I have 78 Amigurumi books, uh, which are only Amigurumi. Uh, whenever a new book arrives, I can scan the uh, ISBN and the app finds the details of the book and then I can um, I, I also uh, there are lots and lots of fields you can add I normally add a field which is um, physical location so in my craft room I have several shelves and I know precisely where each book I have there because I have I'm a knitter uh, to start with, so I have many more knitting books. I have here, they say that I have 355 knitting books. Then I have five sewing books, five embroidery books, and then 96 crochet books. And uh, in those 96, uh, we include the 78, no, that's a lie. Uh, because uh, I tag, as Amigurumi, I tag all my uh, books of toys. So, um, and so the 78 includes some knitting books. They are not all crochet. But uh, in total, the crochet books are 96. And these are only my physical books. Because, again, I don't count the digital-only books. I, I think I told you about that humble bundle that I... Uh, a choir which had 23 um, digital books some of them I already had in physical format some no but I intend to have uh, because again uh, only digital doesn't function for me but um, so and it's then you can um, of course I for example can just pick up the ones, uh, the Amigurumi books, so Amigurumi, and I can order them. And in this case, I ordered them by uh, acquisition date or something like that. And so I could uh, see that uh, the videos I had made before were in July. So I just chose uh, the books from August on uh, that I knew I hadn't talked about them before. So that's how I did. And I, I, you, I like to search my books. I can, for example, uh, mention, I mentioned um, Carrie Lord and I can uh, look at uh, the authors and see. So uh, I'm going to search for Carrie. And I, here I have Carrie Lord and I now can see all her books that I have here. So I have um, and they, 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 I think that they tell me, yes, I have 11 books by Carrie Lord. And then uh, we can see the covers of each of the book, of the books, sorry. So it's um, a great way of collecting this um, and to know the books I have and not to forget them in a way. So I'm sorry, or perhaps not, I don't know. Some people like to listen, people rambling about books, some don't. But I think this is going to be very big. Again, I'm not going to edit. There are cuts and you'll see that I'm back after the cut. And But then I, I hope I can save the file to upload it because uh, I need space for that and I don't know if I have enough. We'll see. I hope to get back soon with more books and more uh, projects. 
And please, if you want to see one of the books in more detail, you can ask me uh, in the comments below and then I'll try to make a review uh, in more detail. Okay? Bye for now.